Hello everybody, it's your health and fitness specialist Kelly Brown here today with a special guest. His name is Stefan Lebossier. Um I'll, I'll let him give an example, or give a breakdown of what he does. <laughs> but first, let me say the reason I have him here today is because a lot of times before you can even lose weight or get in shape or whatever, you're normally dealing with a lot of mental problems, a lot of mental health issues. And so, not mental health like you're crazy or anything like that, but there's a lot of things that you can go through in your life that will trigger you know, weight gain, weight loss, or whatever issues that you're going through with your life. And so, I wanted to bring him here today to kind of touch on some topics about mental health so that you can kind of get those things out of the way before you start on along in your fitness journey. So, I got a couple questions here. He doesn't know what I'm about to say to him. <laughs> so, we're going to interview him here, and I'm going to see what he comes with. And so, I'm going to try to not edit this as much as possible. Okay, so, y'all stay in. Y'all hang with me. All right, so the first thing is... um. How does a person deal with insecurities, you think? How would somebody go about dealing with the insecurities? It, it depends on where the insecurities came from mm -hmm. or where they started. So if it's a matter of you, you question how you look, maybe because I had a client once where, believe it or not, the father would tell her she's ugly. You know what I'm saying? So now her issue with accepting being beautiful came from her father. And so to deal with that, we got to get to the root of that issue. We got to address that relationship, the impact it had on that person. So whatever has triggered the insecurity is where you have to look at because everything after that is just being piled on. It's just adding up because of what you held on to and you never healed from to begin with. But once we heal from that initial thing, now everything else can be taken care of. And what, what's the process of, of trying to heal from that particular instance? I mean, that it's it, with each individual, you got to go deeper into it. And some things may vary, but for the most part, it's going to require, you know, getting some things off your chest. It's going to require forgiving. It's going to require changing your mindset or practicing a new mindset. You're going to have to reprogram yourself. If you've been programmed to believe you're ugly, you're this, you're not good enough for that. Well, now you have to tell yourself the opposite and you have to remind yourself daily, weekly, constantly so that you can now embrace that new mindset and get rid of that old one. Makes sense. Okay. All right. So I got another follow up question to that. <laughs> Should you look for someone else to make you feel better about your insecurities? No, no. absolutely not. Why you shouldn't not? look to someone else. Now, don't get me wrong. We feed off of compliments and how other people perceive us at times. And that's nothing wrong with that, so to speak, but you don't want to rely on that. You don't want to become dependent on what other people think because now you can get 10 compliments in a row and you're feeling great and you get that one person mm -hmm. who says you don't look good or who rejects you and now you internalize that. And now you're back to this negative mindset. So first and foremost, you got to make yourself believe all these things. You have to rely on yourself uh, to feel better and, and to have a better perception of who you are. Don't look to other people, but yeah, you know, compliments will always feel good to most people, if not all. That makes sense. And I, and I ask that because a lot of times the insecurities come from somebody giving them to you, you know, so would we be looking for that person to save us from our insecurities before we move on? Or is it something that you got to conquer internally first? That's why I ask you that. So, all right, the next question is, um, should you conquer your insecurities first before getting into a relationship? That would be ideal. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. I want. I have to say, the vast majority of people are not conquering their insecurities before they get into a relationship. They're trying to brush things under the rug and, and hope to just move past it, or they're feeding off this other person, showing that they desire them and that they want them, and they're letting that get them through, so to speak. Um, but it would be best because, again. If you carry insecurities into that relationship, now, even when that person doesn't do anything wrong, as in your partner, mm -hmm. if they unknowingly do something that triggers that insecurity, now we're back to square one. Now we're having this whole blow up all because of something that has nothing to do with them. It, it started from the past. So you don't want to let that linger. And a lot of times, if you hold on to insecurities, you're going to end up with the wrong person because we start embracing the wrong person into our lives based off our self-worth, based off what we think exists out there. If you know, if you think there's no good guys or no good women, well, you're going to settle for a bad one. Right. That makes sense. You know, so it's important that you fix that before you go entertaining anybody in a relationship. Do you think uh, you can see weight gain or loss as an insecurity or somebody's size, like their physical size or their appearance? Would you consider that an insecurity? 
I mean, the insecurity starts with how you perceive yourself, but it can be an extension of insecurity. And some people, I've, I've had clients where they were molested mm -hmm. and now they will tell you they purposely gained weight and they purposely kept weight on because they felt it made them less desirable and therefore made them um, less susceptible to being harmed and being molested again. Right. So it, 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 it stems from a deeper issue. So ultimately, yeah, the how we look and how we present ourselves can stem from insecurities and how we carry ourselves because again sometimes you can be beautiful but if you lack confidence you don't look as good right you know your energy's off so that's where the insecurity carries over into your presentation I see. okay um i guess the last question is have you ever struggled with insecurities and <laughs> if you have so how did you overcome them I mean, I have. I think we all have. I don't know if there's anybody on the face of this earth that's never been insecure. If you say that, I think you're probably lying. Right. All right. And so for me, as far as dealing with insecurities, it's working on my flaws. Mm -hmm. If I don't like the way my body looks, I, or I'm going to hit the gym harder. I'm going to change my diet. I'm going to find ways that I can get it better. Not that it needs to be perfect. But get it to a place where I'm feeling good about it. Right. That I'm not feeling so down or feeling like it's working against me anymore. So to me, that's the way I always do it. And that's the way I, I would challenge other people is if you're feeling insecure about something, don't wait for someone to just uh, magically compliment you or people to accept you as you are, so to speak. Yes, there's a level of that that you know plays into it, but be willing to work on those things. Right. If it's stuff like your body, your 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 knowledge of stuff, things that you can change and you can uh, uh, make better and improve with just putting certain things into practice, then do that. Because we should all strive to be the greatest version of ourselves anyway. That's true. Okay. Hey, listen, you heard it here. All right. Sometimes <laughs> I say it, but it's better when you hear it from somebody else who's a relationship expert. All right. So um, tell them where they can find you, please. Uh, you can find me on my website, www.stephanspeaks.com. That's S-T-E-P-H-A-N speaks.com or on Twitter and Instagram at Stephon Speaks or Facebook, Stephon Speaks Relationships. All right. And I'm your health and fitness specialist, Kelly Brown. Please, you know where to find me at Get Fit With KB on mostly anything. I'll talk to you guys later.